Hey guys, first spring car vlog. So I'm gonna answer a question that was put to me on the YouTube so I can just get out of this. All right. If you know my channel, you probably know the answer to this, but uh, there'll be some little more details, I suppose. Hi Steph, I'm a newbie in programming. I started learning Java, made a couple of applications in Java FX. I like to make desktop applications, but I didn't see jobs for desktop desktop development because everything goes to the web now. This is true. Java, by the way, for desktop never went anywhere because it was very difficult. It was very slow. Java AWT was the first windowing toolkit, if you will, in Java. And that just sort of... And then Java Swing came around. A lot of people did Java Swing. And I stopped looking at Java for desktop way, way long time ago because it just never went anywhere. He continues. What kind of IT sphere can I choose to find a job where I can make stuff like desktop applications for Windows or similar? Is Java Enterprise similar to that? Yes, Java Enterprise, j 2 E as they call it, Java 2 E, or they used to call it that. But anyway, Enterprise Edition, that's what the double E, double E. Anyway, no, it's all web-based. It's all web. Java on the client is extremely niche. Yes, there are certain apps here and there that have done... I think JetBrains has put through, produced some good stuff for their IDEs in Java. Uh, IntelliJ, I believe that is done in Java, but I'm not sure about that. Now, Java is not client-side. Uh, forget about that. It is server-side programming. So if you want to do desktop applications... Uh, I think you would have to look at .NET for Windows, and you'd have to look at uh, Xcode, I guess, for Apple. Of course, Windows is 10 times bigger. That is a tougher market because it's all about web now. It's all about web. It's all about mobile. If you want a close to desktop-like desktop type of programming, then I would look at native development in either iOS or, uh, or iOS Swift, excuse me, that's for... And then Android, you know, Java, Android, Kotlin. But again, as I've said in many other videos, I believe for many even uh, mobile apps, people are going to be using frameworks like React Native or uh, Flutter, perhaps. Yeah, I understand what you mean. Um, there's something, there's something different about writing apps for the desktop. You got the thick client code, you got all the widgets, it's much easier. You know, you may want to check out .NET's implementation of that for Windows. So there you go, those are your options. To recap, Java is not something you should look at for desktop application development. It can be done, of course, there are, there, there are the toolkits and libraries, but it's rarely, rarely used for that. Java is mostly for web application development or server-side stuff. And, um, and of course, Android, if you want a a close to uh, desktop development look at native mobile development of course as I always tell people when you're looking at software development you got to consider uh, the job market around you right like he discovered it's just he loves Java desktop desktop programming but it's just there's no jobs there people don't use Java for that at the end of the day all these programming languages are just tools and uh, tools to get the jobs done, and these tools are all driven by demand in the marketplace. I hope that helps, and uh, there you go. Bye-bye.